Hi everyone, welcome to Budget Tech Explain. Today's video is gonna be about Microsoft Office um, new software optimized to M1. Um, it's my first time speaking to the camera, so I hope I'm gonna be all right, I guess. Uh, so yeah, today we're gonna do a bunch of tests on the uh, on comparing actually the the two versions, the, the the Intel version which is in the right and the uh, M1 optimized version of Microsoft Office which is in the left. We're gonna open up some apps, um, just open up some heavy apps, uh, some uh, hundred uh, megabytes uh, files of Excel or Word and see how much these two guys uh, compete. So uh, here we are, we, we, we begun with opening just Outlook and you see that the, uh, the one on the right is running on an Intel architecture and the one on the left is running on Apple. And uh, yeah, you saw that the opening time is almost identical and I'm uh, you can see guys that the, the, sometimes the Intel based version sometimes it open up it opens up um, first but that doesn't mean anything I mean um, the optimization uh, is gonna bring a lot of uh, power efficiency in my opinion um, we gonna be able to save a lot of memory but um, Rosetta 2 actually is doing a really good job so I don't think that we're gonna um, uh, actually gain a lot of uh, time in uh, when we open in apps so as you can see uh, we opened up um, the four apps they actually almost identically opened up in the same time and um, you can see some difference uh, uh, though on uh, the CPU usage, on memory, some difference on energy. But we're gonna go deeper uh, later when we're gonna do some heavy work. So as we expected, here we've got on the right Intel and the left Apple and you can see that the CPU is much more used uh, on the Intel version that's because of Rosetta 2 uh, which is the emulator uh, uh, of uh, Apple uh, Silicon uh, which is doing a great job actually and in terms of memory um, there we go, we're gonna go look for the uh, Microsoft apps and see how much memory they consume in. Uh, just here we're gonna refresh a little bit um, and just uh, open up uh, the apps once again uh, just uh, to, to uh, trigger the memory usage and see and compare actually the, the, the two uh, uh, softwares. And uh, there we go, we're gonna go look for the apps. Um, yeah, there we go, for Microsoft. You can see that Word um, is using, so you can see that Word is using uh, 117 megabytes, PowerPoint is using 117 as well, um, Outlook.
go and uh, try one note uh, so actually I didn't say that before but um, Microsoft uh, brought up uh, all the office applications except for uh, MS Teams uh, which is gonna come up uh, later I guess in uh, 2021 and um, OneNote is a, a lucky software one of the luckiest software that got upgraded to to the M1 uh, silicon so uh, it's running uh, on native M1 on the left uh, um, and uh, on the right it's uh, running through Rosetta Here I'm just trying to open a maximum of pages and uh, courses so I can um, get those CPUs and uh, RAMs uh, to work so I can have uh, some data on my monitor uh, and I can hopefully give you some answers guys about uh, the, the magic of the optimization optimization between the software and the hardware so um, uh, OneNote actually is one of the these softwares that used to run very uh, badly uh, on the um, uh, through Rosetta uh, my personal experience is that it was consuming a lot of power um, and um, it was running fine actually no bugs but it was consuming a lot of power which I didn't understand but uh, hopefully um, and as we can see uh, in the M1 optimized version it's uh, much better you can see the graphs it tells you that it's much more efficient on the optimized version of the memory it's uh, almost identical except for some 50 megabytes uh, of difference uh, which is interesting actually when you're opening up um, 10 um, I don't know 10 apps or even more you could uh, save a gigabyte and uh, that's not gonna hurt you Obviously, as you can see, I'm trying to speed up things for you guys so you can, you don't get bored in front of these uh, two beautiful screens. Um, um, I'm trying to slow down when it comes to monitoring, but um, when I'm doing my tests or opening uh, files, I don't I don't see the need to to slow things down. Uh, so yeah, as you saw, we did. The open we did play a little bit with one note and um, the results as I said are almost identical uh, pretty significant on the memory though uh, almost a double uh, usage uh, but uh, for the, the, the efficiency on the memory is pretty significant F but for the CPU usage uh, it's okay Anyway guys, you want, in my opinion, if you are a student like me, you won't be able to, to just reach the limits of the M1 um, new chips. Uh, good luck doing that because these chips are so powerful. Um, yeah. So. Let's see now how uh, this works with Excel. Uh, here I'm going to open um, big files, uh, a big file, uh, PowerPoint, uh, Word, and Excel. I guess uh, the, the, the Excel is 150 megabytes, the PowerPoint is 30, and the Word must be 10 megabytes or so. And we're gonna just see how uh, this works uh, on the two systems.
just uh, redoing uh, the same thing, trying to play a video in the PowerPoint, just trying to, you know, uh, push the limits and see how we did these two uh, work. And uh, we're gonna see the monitor just after um, these tests. And as you can see, the difference is so significant when it comes to the power consumed over the 12 hours uh, before um, the difference is so significant it's almost like a ratio of five to six except for outlook you can see that the m1 optimized version is consuming actually more um, which is weird uh, I guess it's it depends because the the, the, the the computer on the left is my girlfriend's and uh, I guess she just has a lot of males and red and uh, that's why it's consuming more or I, I don't know actually. video is so long excuse me guys but I just had to run the tests uh, more than once or even thrice I did it many times and this uh, one last time was so heavy I tried to push it to the limit just to see um, how to just to be able to compare the two and uh, yeah as I said the results are significant and you all students or professionals who are willing to use these Macs as professional um, ultra portable laptops are gonna gain a lot of performance are gonna gain a lot of battery life I guess um, uh, by 2021 uh, the 15 hours announced uh, would be 17 in my opinion because this thing is it's just gonna get better and better uh, with all the apps coming on 2021 optimized Adobe uh, for people who do a lot of editing uh, and I guess a lot of people would be converted uh, to Mac uh, just because of this MacBook Air uh, as I said on Twitter, um, I think Apple uh, Apple had a strategy uh, when they announced these M1 chips and uh, they want to bring a lot of people into their ecosystem uh, with these Macs uh, and uh, they continue as well of course as you saw with the AirPods Max to deliver some very luxury uh, products that uh, are not affordable for everyone but yeah uh, long story short I think that this MacBook Air is so good for students or professionals and uh, let's hope that more apps would come up really soon uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one